Chandrayaan-1 was India's first lunar mission, launched by the Indian Space Research Organization in October 2008. The mission aimed to study the Moon's surface and gather data on its topography, mineral composition, and the presence of water molecules. The spacecraft carried various scientific instruments, including a high-resolution camera, a terrain mapping camera, and a Moon mineralogy mapper. It successfully entered the lunar orbit in November 2008 and operated for approximately 10 months. During its mission, Chandrayaan-1 made significant discoveries. It confirmed the presence of water molecules on the lunar surface, detected signatures of hydroxyl and water ice in the polar regions, and mapped detailed topographical information about the Moon's surface. However, in August 2009, contact with Chandrayaan-1 was lost due to technical issues. Nonetheless, the data collected by the spacecraft greatly contributed to our understanding of the Moon's composition and provided valuable insights into its geological history. Overall, Chandrayaan-1 marked a significant milestone for India's space exploration program and laid the foundation for its Phase II mission Chandrayaan-2, the second lunar mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, was launched in July 2019. It consisted of an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover called Pragyan. The mission aimed to study the lunar surface and explore the South Pole region for potential water ice deposits. After a successful launch, the orbiter entered the lunar orbit, while Vikram lander and Pragyan rover prepared for a soft landing on the lunar surface. However, during the landing attempt in September 2019, Contact with the lander was lost just moments before touchdown, leaving its status uncertain. Despite the setback, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter continued to operate and conduct scientific investigations from its orbit. It carried several instruments to study the Moon's composition, mineralogy, exosphere, and more. The orbiter's high-resolution camera captured detailed images of the lunar surface and identified potential landing sites for future missions. Chandrayaan-2's mission objectives included understanding the origin and evolution of the Moon, and mapping its water ice deposits. Although, the lander did not achieve a successful landing, India's efforts with Chandrayaan-2 have propelled its capabilities in space exploration and technology. The mission has provided valuable data and insights into lunar science, and has contributed to our understanding of the Moon's geological features, and mineral composition. Chandrayaan-2 also served as a stepping stone for India's future lunar exploration endeavors. The Chandrayaan-3, the successor to Chandrayaan-1 and 2, is set to embark on its journey to the Moon on July 14, at around 2.35 p.m. Indian Standard Time. It will be the first spacecraft to land on the south pole of the Moon, which remains an area unexplored by the humans. It is primarily a landing and roving mission. Unlike the partially successful Chandrayaan-2, there is no orbiter element this time. Its mission is to conduct a number of experiments on Moon for a period of 14 Earth days. One day on Moon is equal to 14 days on Earth. The Indian Space Research Organization has stated that Chandrayaan-3 is a step towards developing and demonstrating technology that would one day be used for interplanetary missions. The stated mission objectives of Chandrayaan-3 are, to demonstrate safe and soft landing on lunar surface, to demonstrate rover roving on the moon and, to conduct in situ scientific experiments. No human missions so far, including the human moon missions of the United States, have taken any spacecraft to the South Pole. Lunar South Pole is of special interest because parts of it remain permanently in shadow, raising the possibility of sampling moon ice for the first time. Moreover, the large craters near the lunar South Pole might contain clues to the composition of the early solar system. Notably, studies conducted at South Pole will also be crucial for spacefaring ambitions, as South Pole is the site where Artemis III mission of the United States will land. The South Pole region has very different geology from the region around the Moon where Apollo missions were made, so Chandrayaan-3 will provide a close-up view of an entirely new region of the Moon. This will be the first time any tests would be conducted on the South Pole, 
so data and conclusions drawn are set to be studied very closely across the world.